Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am sorry for if I have shitty lighting. Um, there's a little bit of a glare. Actually, let me turn my camera this way. That might be a little helpful. Um, so I haven't been here in a while. Then that's because I started a job. Um, two two weeks ago, three weeks. Yeah, two weeks ago. And the reason for why I started a job is because, like I said before, this town is so small compared to San Jose. I'm going to start priming my skin while I do this. But OJ. Thank you. Uh-huh. Take your plate. How was breakfast? Delicious. So, as I was saying, the reason I start I'm going to disinfect my hands because I was eating breakfast. I always eat breakfast and on my makeup desk because it's easier for me. Ugh. Okay, so the reason why I started this job was because I spent so much time alone. I got very depressed while being alone because he was working. That and around exactly like two weeks ago on Sunday, it's Tuesday by the way, um, our dog Max, he unfortunately got ran over by a car here in our street. So after that, it's been a little bit lonely at the house, obviously. Um, and just to distract myself, I got a job. Uh, the job I have right now is like a 9 to 5 type of job. Um, I do uh, front desk, reception, you know, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. That kind of, that kind of stuff. Um, I really like my job so far. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep liking it. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. I like the people I work with. Yay. OG and coffee. Yep. Yeah, as I was saying, I love the people I work with. It's a really great, like, I don't know, it just feels really close, like a family environment. Maybe because it's family owned, but uh, maybe because it's like a family business type of thing, but, well, I'm not family, but like the owners are. Um, what's it called? I really like it. It's like, I don't know. Just, I really like it. I haven't worked in a long time. I haven't worked since early 2016 because Ian had his, like, second uh, episode of seizures. So they were really bad, and he was in the hospital for, like, almost, for, like, a week. So I had to quit my job to take care of him at the hospital, and I lost my job. And after that, I had to drive him around everywhere because in California, when you have seizures, you, and when you have seizures and they're reported, um, especially if you go to the emergency room, obviously they're going to get reported. You're going to have six months without your license. It's going to be suspended. Good morning. Good morning. It's going to be suspended. So I took time off to do that and just, you know, be a homemaker pretty much. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do foundation now. I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Natural. Uh, this might be a little dark for me. I thought it was this dark. Because I have beige and natural beige from like my really light days. Natural is when I'm really dark. And I think I should have mixed them both. Because it was a little dark. I've been tanning a lot. I've been out in the sun, as you know, if you see my vlogs. But now that I'm working inside for the last few weeks, I've been inside because I work inside and I've got. Um, so. I'm going to spritz my brush off camera. Not off camera, but like away from my juice and my coffee. Um, so I've been inside, so color has been getting out of my skin. Out of my skin. Today I'm doing this tutorial because ever since I started working, I started Snapchatting, like my looks every day and stuff. And I've got a few people, but they're like, "How do you have time to do your makeup in the morning?" To be specific, how do you have time to do your makeup in the morning if you have to leave to work at like 8:30? Know, to be there by nine or sometimes I have to go in early at eight um and I'm like girl it looks like I tried but I really didn't and they're like how and I was like I'll just explain it in a video you know so whatever whatever you identify as um possibly work jobs in offices type of situations nine to five you know whatever you, like you know those kind of jobs you know what I mean you don't want any type of job but you want to look like you try it if you work you know, graveyard, and you want to look like you tried doing your makeup, but you didn't. Like, when I used to work um, graveyard, I never wore makeup because I was like, what the fuck is going to see me, you know? 
But if you want to, you do you do you boo. Shade 20 by maybe they fit me because I have a lot of dark right now. Darker than usual, or I would be a 10. <laughs> well, I am a 10. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm like a two. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and a little Morphe E8 brush. It's a little blending brush. Use this to blend out my concealer. Crack my lids. I mean, you have eyelid primer. You can go ahead and use that. I use concealer, as you know. I use a little bit of foundation on my brush um, to clear out any veins and hair and stuff, but I'm using the concealer as a primer. I don't do the triangle anymore because I figured that when I do the triangle and when I blend, it, the concealer ends up like fading like towards this area, and I don't like that, so I just do this and blend it in the shape of a triangle. Make sure I really get up in here because that's where the darkness is. The Beauty Blender itself is going to blend it in a triangular motion. Um, because of the shape of the beauty blender and it will look better and more natural once it's set like it won't look like you're wearing obviously concealer all the way down here um, does that make sense like you can already see the difference see it looks more natural that way because it most of the pigments up here and then it fades down here um why don't you pick it up Now, the reason why I'm using a foundation and a concealer that aren't too expensive, a lot of um, stick foundations can be a little pricey, can be over the forty over the forty dollar range. Um, you know, it can be like thirty eight, forty, forty something, fifty, some even close to sixty. We're using the Laura Mercier powder. I keep all this stuff at my desk set up for the next day. Like I, I, I have a little drawer on my desk where I'll just put my foundation, my primer, uh, the bronzer. My Max Studio Fix powder, my blush. Every week, I pick out a different blush. As I was saying, every week I pick a new blush, and I'll change it out of my drawer or a new bronzer or a new highlighter. Um, but weekly, because I don't want to be changing it every day. Because I just, I don't have that time. Now you don't have to do this step. You can also just do the concealer and do your eyeshadow first and then your foundation if that's what you prefer. I do my foundation first because of, I don't know, I just do it. Um, so I have that powder there. Um, so I just keep all those little basic stuff. Just foundation, um, face powder, blush, bronzer, and highlighter in my desk and the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to use for that week. Um, all my concealers and stuff, my concealers, lip pencils, brow pencils, um, brushes, lipsticks, um, all that small stuff is on my desk laid, laid out like so, so I don't need to be, um, uh, I don't need to worry about that. All my palettes, foundations, um, bronzers, blushes, that bigger stuff, the more bulkier stuff is um, stored in my storage, in my makeup closet, like my storage area. Um, so that's what I do there. I'm going to get started with eyeshadow. So it's like much easier to just keep what you're going to use on hand. You know what I mean? So for the week, I'm going to use a certain palette. For the next week, I'm going to use a certain palette. I can't wear it like, you know, like I like to keep it in the bronzy area for work because it's more natural. Natural. So what I've been doing for the last two weeks is I've been using the Morphe 35F palette. And this look only takes three shadows, okay? It takes a, tr a transition, a lid, and a crease, all right? So three shades. So what I've been doing is doing my transition shade with this shade, and then I'll pick a lid shade and use my finger because it's easier to apply, and it looks better, and it just it looks more pigmented and more pretty. And then I'll blend the edges with that same brush, and then with the same brush, I'll pick up a crease shade, usually around these tones right here these four tones right here because usually I use one of these as a transition depending like what kind of lit shade I'm going to use that fits better that color um, and then I use like a transition shade and then if I really want to vamp it up a little and just smoke out the bottom lash line I take a little black a little black on a small detail brush and just smoke out the lower lash um, so it just takes three shades and like technically one brush I would pick a palette that has a lot of shimmer shades and a few mattes because like mattes you can really just use a, 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 like a, a warm transition shade really like he says like warm and cool toned shades, so this shades I can just pop it on the crease and then lit shade and then blend it out and that'd be fine. Um, obviously after I 
put a transition shade in. So any of these crease shades would work for all these colors. Um, obviously I've been digging into the plums and the golds and stuff. Um, it's been really easy for me to do. But today I'm going to do it with a different palette. I know it's hard to do with this palette, but I've been using it for two weeks. So I kind of want to switch it up today. What I haven't used on camera is the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. I've used the Zulu palette, but I also bought the Saharan. So today I'm going to be using the Saharan palette. But right before I use this, I'm going to show you another great palette. And this is from Morphe. And by the way, all these palettes are affordable. All these palettes are under $20. Five dollars. All these palettes are twenty-five dollars, and they give you a lot of options. So you can um, you can go more brown, go more neutral one day, go more warm one day. You know. <clears throat> so and if you're colorful, use the Saharan palette. <laughs> um, so this one gives you great um, transition shades right here. It gives you great crease shades right here, and great shades to like you want to add a little bit darkness to the bottom lash line. You're gonna do that. You can do that. And then it gives you great, um, uh, like bronzy gold shades, you know. It gives you, what is this called? Uh, I forgot what this is called. So this palette gives you, gives you like, great, um, lid shades right here. You can go light, you can go, you know, more gold more copper you can do that and then it has that black right here this is another great palette that would be great for that and can be used you know for daily use but today I'm going to show you one with the Saharan palette so you can so you can see that even with the palette like this you can create a very appropriate look for work these are really pigmented this is by Juvia's Place so I'm going to put this all over the lid I'm going to leave the brow bone blank and the inner corner blank. You can always add something if you want to. This is just what makes it really easy for me. You get shadows that have great pigmentation because um, gra shadows that have great pigmentation um, and blendability tend to like blend themselves out as you can see. Um, so that makes your job easier. I'm going to go ahead and take Kia. This will look really pretty with my look today. I've used Wadabi and Fula. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to take Kia. So I can show you how great this can be. It's a pretty color. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and... Don't rub your finger back and forth because that will take away the finish of the shadow. Just create, like, the shade of the pigment. Just kind of just tap it. Now I'm going to take Jamila, this orangey shade right here, just a little bit, um, and really pop it on the outer part of the crease. I look is complete now, my lighting is getting screwed up again. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this under eye off. Uh, I take forever to fill in my brows, so I just take a clear brow gel. This is a clear Anastasia brow gel, and my brows have a pretty nice shape and um, color to it. So I just kind of shape them in a way I think will be really flattering. I think this looks really good. And I'm gonna bronze and kind of contour with it. Just this on the cheek. Okay, so other than that, this look is complete. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!